Hi, my name is Zuli Rain. I'm a product marketer for Medium, and today I'm going to show you how to publish a story on Medium. This is going to be a two part video. The first part is going to be very short, just a product demo. I'm going to show you literally how to publish a story on Medium. The second part is going to be a little longer. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that you can use to make your story look beautiful on Medium and reach a wider audience. Okay, so step number one to publishing a story on Medium create a Medium account. If you've already done that, you can move right on to step two, which is to press this right button, write your story, get ready to hit publish, and hit the publish button. When you hit the publish button, this story is now live. It lives on your profile, and you can share this link with anyone you want, your sister, your friend, your cat sitter, it doesn't matter, this link belongs to you, and you can post it anywhere. So. In addition to having control of that link, the story now also lives on your profile. So on your Medium profile, it's right there. I also want to show you some additional tips and tricks for making your story beautiful and helping it get out to the readership on Medium. So like I mentioned, the great thing about publishing on Medium, no waiting process, you control that link, no approvals. You can basically use Medium like any other blogging platform. You just publish your story and get it out. There is another way you can use Medium in addition to that, which is to access the readers who are already on Medium. So first of all, you wanna make your story look beautiful. So this is all optional, but here are a few things you can do. You can use the big T to format your title and your subtitle, and you can use the same toolbar later on in the story to make headers and subheaders. You can bold, you can italicize, and you can hyperlink. Those are just some very basic formatting options that you have available. You can also add images. You can add any image that you already have on your computer and you have the rights to. You can also use our Unsplash integration to look for images that you want to include. Uh, like here's a really great one about cats. When you publish your story, you'll have the option to add up to five topic tags. Topics help tell Medium and your readers what your story is about. When you publish a story on Medium, the story lives on your profile on Medium, but it also lives on the topic page of any topic that you choose. So for example, if I add cats and dogs here, not only is it going to live on my profile, but it's also going to live on the cats topic page. So if I refresh this, we will see here's my story on the cat topic page. Finally, you can also choose to add your story to a publication. Publications on Medium are themed collections of stories run by other Medium writers. Uh, so for example, Here's one that is all about the deep journeys through food and drink culture. So again, when you publish a story on Medium, it's going to live on your profile. It's going to live on the topic pages of any topics you use. And if you choose to publish it in a publication, it will also live within that publication. The downside of using publications is that here you will have to go through an approval process. You'll have to submit the story and the editor of this publication. Um, one of these three folks, for example, will approve it. They'll reject it. They might have feedback for you. The benefit of working with a publication is A, the editors of publications can be really hands-on and they can help you polish your story and get it to the next level, and B, especially as a new writer, if you don't have an existing audience on Medium, publishing in a publication means that your story is going to be shown to followers of that publication, even if they don't follow you. So Rooted has 19,000 followers. That's a pretty big group of engaged readers who you already know are interested in this particular topic of food and journeys through food, if that's something that you're interested in writing about. We filmed a whole video here all about how to find publications that are a good fit for your stories on Medium, so I'll link it right here. And if that sounds good to you, have a look and check out some publications that might be worth trying to get into. Okay, so to sum it up, when you publish on Medium, there's no waiting period, no vetting. You can just hit publish on your story and have that story be live immediately. You own the link. You can share that link with anyone you want. You can post it anywhere you want and help your friends, families, coworkers read your story. There are a couple formatting tools that you can use to make your story look more beautiful. So you can see here on the homepage, for example, people frequently add subtitles, they add images to help give a little bit of context about what that story is about. You can use and should use topic pages like running, productivity, writing tips, Use our Explore Topics page to find topics that could be a good fit for your story if you're not sure where to start. And optionally, I would recommend considering publications to look for a publication to submit to. It's a great way to find some community of other fellow writers on Medium and to help get your story out to readers who are interested in that thing that you're writing about. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!